Hey guys, this is Mr. Grice for Algebra 2, Chapter 7.1, Notes, Day 3. Today we're talking about factoring four-term polynomials. Now, before we get started in factoring the four-term polynomials, let's review what we started talking about yesterday. Alright, so let's take a look at number 1. Now, we need to find the GCF, the greatest common factor of negative 32 and negative 28. So remember, if you don't know it, you should be going off to the side and writing down all the factors. 1 and 32, 2 and 16, 4 and 8, and then 28 is 1 and 28, 2 and 14. 4 and 7. And looking at that list, that should help you figure out what the greatest common factor is. Okay? Now, my leading coefficient is negative, so that means my GCF is negative. And now they both have m's, but m squared is the smallest. So my GCF goes out front, and then what's left over goes in parentheses. So negative 32 divided by negative 4 is 8. m cubed divided by m squared is m. And then negative 28 divided by negative 4 is a positive 7. And then my m's cancel out. So my final answer is negative 4m squared in parentheses, 8m plus 7. Now, looking at number 2. Once again, if you do not know what number goes into both of those, I'm going to start with 16 and do 1 and 16, 2 and 8, and then 4 and 4. And I'm going to start with 16. Does 16 go into 40? Uh, no. What about 8? Yeah, it does. And it's going to be a negative 8. And now I'm just looking at the variables. They both have A's. They both have B's, but yeah, just regular, oh, not that. B to the first, and then they both have C's, but that one's my smallest. So my GCF goes out front, negative ABC. And now the remainder goes inside the parentheses. So negative 40 divided by negative 8 is 5. My a's cancel. b to the fourth divided by b is b cubed. And then the c's cancel. Negative 16 divided by negative 8 is a positive 2. The a's cancel and the b's cancel. So then we just need to worry about c cubed divided by c, which gives us c squared. Okay. Don't freak out if there are a bunch of numbers. Okay. Now, the number that goes into 27, negative 12, and 27 is going to be 3. And now they all have x's. The smallest one is x squared. And now I'm looking at the y's. That has a y, that has a y, but my last one does not have a y. So I can't use, I can't plot a y as my GCF. So the 3x squared goes out front, and then we start dividing. 27 divided by 3 is 9. x cubed divided by x squared is x, and then the y squared comes down. Negative 12 divided by 3 is going to be a negative 4. The x squared cancels, and we're left with y. And then 27 divided by 3 is 9, and then the x squareds cancel out. So there we go.
All right, last one, number four. Why don't you guys pause the video and see if you can do this one all on your own. Good luck. Okay, so the GCF was a negative 2 m to the 5th n squared p squared. And so the GCF comes out front, and then what's left over goes in parentheses the m cubed plus 4mp minus 4. All right, so that was a review of what we've talked about. Now let's go through the new stuff. So here we go factoring four term polynomials. Now the first thing we're going to do is check to see if there's a GCF between all four terms. After that we're going to split the polynomial into pairs and find the GCF of each pair. And then the last thing is we need to regroup into the product of two binomials. So our answer is going to look something like this and there might be another number out here just depending on if there's a GCF or not. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at what is that number five? So the first thing we're supposed to check is there a GCF between all four terms? Oh, sorry. And there isn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up into two pairs. Okay, so we're going to call this the blue pair and the yellow pair. So looking at the blue pair, what do they both have in common? Yeah, they both have an X. So that means I can pull out the GCF, that's our X, and then let's divide. So X, Y divided by X is Y. 7X divided by X is 7. Perfect. Now let's look at the back, the yellow pair. What's my GCF? Yeah, I can take out a 2 between both of those. So my 2 comes out front. I like writing the plus just to remind myself that it's positive. And then 2y divided by 2 is y. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Now, I know that I did this right because my y plus 7 and my y plus 7, they match. So that is one of my binomials, the y plus 7, and then my GCFs, the x plus 2, it's my other binomial. And there we go, that's our answer, okay? So the x and the plus 2, those come together, and then my y plus 7, y plus 7 is my other one. Okay, let's look at the next one. So number 6. The first thing we check, is there a GCF for all of them? I would say n, but yeah, there's no n back here, so that I can't take out a GCF from everything. Okay, so I'm going to split them up into my two pairs, my blue pair and my yellow pair. Now the blue pair, they both have n's, and the lowest is an n squared, so I'm going to pull out an n squared, and that goes out front, and then I divide. n cubed divided by n squared is n, 8n squared divided by n squared is a positive 8. Now the yellow pair, the back pair. My leading coefficient is negative, so my GCF is negative. And then negative 5 goes into both 5 and 40. Negative 5n divided by negative 5 is n, and negative 40 divided by negative 5 is a positive 8. Okay, and now I can write my two answers. Now n plus 8, n plus 8, those are the same. So I did it right, and then the n squared minus 5 is my other group. Now 
Now, if I wanted to see if I got this right, I could distribute, which we talked about before. If I distribute everything, my answer will be what we started with. Okay. All right, number seven. So remember the first thing to check, is there a GCF? And no, there isn't. Okay, so I'm gonna split them into pairs. I've got the blue pair and the yellow pair, the front or the back. And then what do the W cubed and the six W have in common? Yeah, the only thing they have in common is the W. So the W comes out front, and then I'm left with W squared minus 6 after I divide that. Now, 9W squared minus 54, the only thing I can pull out from those two is a 9, and that's going to be a positive 9. 9W squared divided by 9 is W squared, and then negative 54 divided by 9 is 6. Okay, so the w squared minus 6 comes out front, and then the what we have in the blue is my other binomial. Alright, number 8. The first thing we check, is there a GCF? And there isn't, so we're going to draw the line. And now I want to see if you guys can do this one on your own. So go ahead and pause the video and good luck. Okay, so the GCF of the front group was an X. The GCF of the back was a 10. And then when we divide that out, we get Y plus 4. So that's our first binomial, and then x plus 10 is our second. All right, number 9. Now, this is the first time that we've seen this, but I can take a GCF out from the very beginning. What I notice is that all of these are even numbers. So... What number goes into 10, 20, 16, and 32? Well, what do you think? Can I take a 4 out? No, because 4 doesn't go into 10. Okay, I can take out a 2. So the 2 comes out front, and then... Sorry, excuse me, I was coughing. Still... Now we just divide everything out. We got 10 PR plus 10 P minus 8 QR minus 16 Q. Okay, so now that I've taken the GCF out front, I'm going to bring that 2 down into my final answer so I don't forget about it. Okay, that's where my final answer is going to go. And now I'm going to do the same thing as before. We're going to split them into pairs. What's the GCF of the first group? Well, I can divide by 5, and then they both have a P. So the 5P comes out front, and we're left with R plus 10 divided by 5 is 2, and the P's cancel. Now, in the back group, my GCF is negative, or my leading coefficient is negative, so my GCF is negative. 8 goes into both of those, and then they both have Qs. So my GCF is a negative 8Q, and then negative 8 divided by negative 8 is 1. Q divided by Q cancels, so we're left with R, and negative 16 divided by negative 8 is a positive 2 and the Q's cancel. So 
just like before, r plus 2 and r plus 2, sorry, are the same, so we did it right. So r plus 2 is our first binomial, and then we take the 5p minus 8q. All right, let's move on to number 10. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, is there a GCF out of the whole four-term polynomial? And yeah, okay, they all have A's, and they're all even, but I always want to check with that smaller one. Can I divide everything by 6? And the answer is yes. So my GCF is a 6A. The 6A comes out front, and then I start dividing everything. The first one, we're left with AB. 12 divided by 6 is 2A. 42 divided by 6 is 7, and the A's cancel. And then 84 divided by 6 is 14. So I don't want to forget about that 6a, so I'm just going to draw a line down into my final answer. And now I'm going to draw the line and start dividing. The GCF of AB plus 2a, they both have an a, so the a comes out front. And we're left with b plus 2. In the back, the 7b plus 14, I can pull out a 7. And that is a positive 7. 7b divided by 7 is b. 14 divided by 7 is 2. And then just like we wanted to, those match. So that's my first binomial. And then we have the a plus 7. Now, it does not matter which order you put those binomials, OK? You could have written a plus 7, b plus 2. OK, that's fine. That doesn't matter. OK? All right, last one. If you guys want to try it on your own, go ahead and pause the video. There is a GCF of everything, though, so be careful. Now, if you don't want to pause it, I'll go through this anyways. OK, so I can pull out a 3D from everything. My 3D comes out, and then we're left with CD plus 8C. Sorry, guys. Um, minus 5D minus 40. So CD plus 8C minus 5D minus 40. I'm going to split that, and then I'm going to bring the 3D down. Okay. The GCF of the first group is a C, so the C comes out front, and we're left with D plus 8. The GCF of the back group is a yeah, negative 5. It's got to be negative because our leading coefficient is negative. So the negative 5 comes out front, and we're left with D. Negative 40 divided by negative 5 is, yeah, positive 8. And those match just like we need to, so that means we did it right. So d plus 8 is my first binomial, and then we're left with c minus 5. And there you go. We're all done. All right, well, that's the end of our notes today. If you have any questions, please come see Ms. Carranza or myself. We would love to help you out. Now, your homework is 7.1, practice C.
All right. Well, that's it. This is Mr. Grace signing off. Thanks for watching.